Okay, Steve, this is the real meeting. I thought we had the real meeting. Well, this is the real, real meeting. Now, I notice you've been getting a lot more lines on the script. Well, I try to be as balanced as possible. Oh, oh shit. I like it. I want you to get more lines. You're going to be the star of this show. But that's not really fair to Michael. Oh, let me make this clear for you. The Jesters will be your TV show. I want less Michael on here and more of you. But it's not really fair. <laughs> Luckily for you, TV isn't fair, Steve. You're a natural on camera. Michael's just a big block of wood. Really? Really. I mean, Pixar couldn't animate his performances. Geppetto couldn't make him seem less wooden. If Jim Henson shoved his hand up his ass, he still wouldn't appear lifelike. Less him, more you. Capiche? Well, if it's for the good of the show. No, don't give me that crap. Look, I can see you black heart, my boy. You remind me of me, except younger and slightly less talented. Well, uh, that'll change. Yeah, well, you'll definitely get older. Look, he realises what he's done. He just doesn't understand the implications. I mean, he's 11, but when you're 11, you're not a baby anymore. You're not an adult either. We haven't offered you anything. Uh, coffee? Tea? Is there any of that claw food he left, Ronnie? It's an extraordinary claw food. I wouldn't mind an espresso. Espresso for me too, darling. Bring the claw food anyway. What is it that you do? Uh, domestic hardware. Locks, doorknobs, soldering irons, all manner of household goods, saucepans. Money in that, is there? Provided I'm out there every day pushing my product, it rubs along. When you saw the hamster sitting there paralysed, why didn't you bring it home? Because I couldn't pick it up. You left it out on the pavement. I just can't touch rodents. Where's that club foodie? The trouble is, Jack, you have a romanticised view. You and Isabel never got past the honeymoon fate. You never got to the domestic dead zone, you know, being told how to stack a dishwasher, pulling clumps of hair out of the shower drain, varicose veins, toenail clippings. You don't know how lucky you are. You considered a career in Greek counselling, have you? Look, you know what I mean. Is that your school tie? The old boy's luncheon. Indestructible, he's grammatised. Must be rather so popular for suicides and scarfing. It's scarfing, isn't it, where you choke yourself while you... You to see the school fees not going to waste, then. I won't be needing this anymore. Oh, so you found Robbie Coburn dead. Stellar job. So? Who do I bill? <laughs> bill for what? Having a few quiet ones with Barry Tregear. Contacts, that's what gets the job done. Point of order, the job's not done. The client wants to meet you. What, so the client who didn't want to meet with me now wants to meet? True. Who's the client? 